Pisces, welcome to your September 2021 reading. We're going to be getting some insight on what's coming at you in September, as well as any hidden influences at play that will fill out the picture. But we're going to first start out by asking the cards which Pisces we're talking to. That way I don't waste your time. And if that resonates, you can stay along with me for the rest of the reading, getting insight for the month of September. If this does please res uh, if this does resonate, please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button. It greatly helps the channel and I just think it's good karma. So all of these have been pre-shuffled for you and we're going to start with this one. These are your clarifying decks. Pisces, Pisces. A lot of you guys are going through a lot of stuff, largely around standing your ground, you know, like being tested but really being ready to, like really rising up to the occasion, you know? So that's kind of been the theme for a lot of you Pisces, is rising up to the tests that life has been, th you know, throwing at you. It's like, you got this. You've been through so much crap in the last couple of years, and it's like it was all preparing you for these tests and it's like oh i already studied for this i know all the answers all right so which pisces am i getting messages about which pisces am i talking to please make it clear spirit thank you spirit for september 2021 all right which pisces am i talking to please make it clear spirit Which place is my talking to? Please make it clear to me. Which place is my talking to? The month of September 2021. One more. Please make it clear to me. Which place is my talking to? You know what? Two more. Okay. Which place is my talking to? For September. All right, so we have two swords popping up, one with the Justice card and one with the Queen of Swords. There's, so this month, um, well, excuse me, not this month, I'm gonna move over that in a second, but the Pisces that I'm talking to right now have possibly are currently experiencing dis some disappointment. Um, there's maybe something that feels uh, not right, not just, not balanced in a current situation. Now, for some of you guys, this is going to be at a job. For others, it's going to be within a relationship. But there's almost like, you know, there's these messages and information, these, this communication coming in quickly. For some of you guys, you're traveling for this um, person. You might be, uh, and, and you might, uh, yeah, or a job. And there's four of cups here, which is apathy. And that represents kind of an offer that's being made that is being turned down for whatever reason. It's just that the, there's not interest in the offer. With the justice card, I have to bring up that for some of you guys, there's gonna be contracts or legal documents at play. It's always a good sign when you get the justice card um, for that, but it looks largely like there's kind of an offer you're getting or somebody's getting here. There's information coming in that's really going to cause somebody to cut something out here, okay? So if that's resonating, stay with me. I'm gonna get a little bit of clarity on this. Kind of an intense turn of events, but this is currently for Pisces. What's the Five of Cups? Okay, this is around commitments, belief systems, this is institutions, for some of you guys might be marriage, but the Hierophant really rules over our commitments and our beliefs. Um, clarity on Five of Cups, Clarity on Five of Cups. All right, yeah, this is something that you've worked for because you felt that it was working towards the bigger vision, your, the, the long game, basically. And um, you've basically wrapped it up a little sooner than you expected. Um, it's been exhausting. You are ready to end this chapter. And there, that's where the disappointment is possibly coming from because it's not exactly, it didn't um, reap the rewards that you were hoping for uh, long-term. So we've got 
the justice card what is that about okay so this was a shakeup very recently that happened some of you guys this is happening currently and that's why you're watching this video is that something out of your control has totally shaken your life up and it feels i think it feels unjust for a lot of you guys um, again, there might be legal documents attached to this. For some of you guys, you're moving. The Tower card comes out. It's not a bad card, but it's just like your life literally was picked up and placed somewhere else. And it's important to remember that you had no, you had no choice or control over that. So remember to go easy on yourselves. But you know, when it's really important to note that when the tower does occur, it's because life literally is like, no, I got plans for you. We really have to quickly derail. We're gonna quickly change over to this set of tracks because your train, it's no longer going towards a good destination for you. It's just that it comes, comes out of nowhere and it really can be kind of uh, disorienting. And so, yes, a lot of you guys will be moving, either moving your work or moving your um, your homes because of this. Four of Cups. What is this Four of Cups for the Pisces that I'm speaking with? This offer that one is not taking. Ah, okay. So we've got Nine of Cups coming out, which is a very good card. Let's get a little more clarity. Aha. Uh -huh. You know what this is? you're going you're you're it's like there's one option that's there and you're choosing to stick by your guns you're choosing not to compromise on what you feel is right and you know that it's going to lead you to a much better place than whatever this offer is it's like you're not really willing to compromise this shakeup is meant to happen for sure but you're very you're feeling really strong in what your sense of wrong and right is and you're not going to compromise yet. Yeah, Knight of Wands is a fast moving, fiery energy. It's very confident. All right. And let's get a little clarity on who this Queen of Swords is. <laughs> King of Swords. <laughs> All right. There's like definitely no bullshit going on here. I feel that somebody is, um, you've got somebody in the wings kind of, supporting you supporting kind of the your choice to move forward cut out cut out the bad stuff and um page of pentacles Ooh, it's just a pay so we got a lot of new energy here with pages pages bring in that fresh new energy at the beginning of like a new phase and the lovers this is gemini energy this is, could be um literally lovers but it could also represent a choice so yeah you are you're these are the pisces that have been shaken up and they're rising to meet that situation it's been it's come with some disappointment but i think that they are getting over it pretty quick they're they're moving forward somewhat because i don't think they have much of a choice to do so but they're really holding their ground okay so that being said if you're still with me um we're going to get some insight on the month of September and what it holds for you. Please hit the like button and consider subscribing. If you hit the bell, you'll never miss a reading. I'll be notified whenever I give you readings. All right, so month of September for Pisces. Please make it clear, month of September 2021 for Pisces. Uh-huh. So five of pentacles, this could be affecting your bank account a little bit. September will be about, you know, being aware of your finances, definitely. Five of pentacles is also a sense of abandonment, being left behind or pushed out. But let's get a little more about that. Okay, so September for Pisces. Please make a picture of what September for Pisces. Hermit. And we've got some major arcana flying out. This has sent you inward checking you know this has really sent you inward to kind of follow your own instincts and get really clear on on uh what's right for you the wheel of fortune is a reminder that you are on the right path okay the wheel of fortune comes out as a karmic reminder that you are on the right path i'm, I'm repeating myself because it's really um when things aren't comfortable, it's easy to kind of 
feel like what the hell is going on why you know uh eight of swords and september 2021 for yep we've got double yeah we've got five of swords here and five of swords here okay one more and then we'll get some clarity for pisces september 2021 and we end up at the ten of cups this ends really well pisces um I feel like the biggest thing going forward in September is really having patience and understanding that there is a purpose, that nothing is being wasted in vain. Your energy is not, you're not being put through this in vain, but you're really standing strong under any circumstance, no other circum, excuse me, let me say it this way. Under no circumstances are people going to sway you. I'd like some insight on this eight of swords. It's going to end up really great because you stood your ground. All right, so Eight of Swords, why are we getting this for Pisces, September 2021? Why are we getting Eight of Swords? Okay, we've got the Knight of Cups. Uh, why are we getting the... Uh-huh. There might be two individuals that you're feeling stuck... Um, you're feeling stuck inside this um could be a triangle for some of you guys but i feel like there's some there's some choices to be made there's some options out there um for some of you guys it'll be romantic some of you guys will be collaborators people in your life basically that you're you're kind of um get clarity in the eight of swords uh-huh okay so i feel like you're you're almost being um put in the position to make it to choose a side, to choose a side between two individuals' um, beliefs and to demonstrate uh, and show your loyalty to a commitment to a belief. Um, and you're feeling stuck in that because it feels like a no-win situation. You're gonna be upsetting somebody. Um, the chariot card flew out, but not flew. Flipped, but not flew out. So we only take the ones that fly out. Yeah. And so you're kind of in this defense, defensive place of like, you know, standing your ground, but it's kind of exhausting. And, um, but it comes out in a good way because you don't, I have a feeling that you don't choose between the choices that are given. In fact, you create another option. Okay. And that's what the five of swords is. It's really quite brilliant. And you are brilliant, Pisces. So you create another option instead of, you know, being exhausted and stuck between um, these perspectives and having to choose, you decide, no, there's actually another option I'm creating, I'm manifesting right now. What is the Five of Pentacles? The sense of being left out for Pisces in the month of September. It could be finances getting a little scant. Sorry for the background noise. All right, so let's get an idea for Pisces. What are the hidden influences? Just to help fill out the picture here, what are the hidden influences for everything going on for Pisces? Okay, Four of Pentacles, hidden influences for Pisces. Why are we getting Four of Pentacles? Thank you. Hidden influences for Pisces, September 2021. Flipping in the deck is two of swords, but we're not going to take it because it didn't fly. There we go. We've got a lot of cups. And we are revisited with a four of cups here. You know what it is? So this, the cards are telling me to talk to you about a withholding energy that you've gotten definitely you've pulled in your own energy you've pulled in your energy and you've successfully kind of fought off your own doubts about kind of a new offer coming in um you're realizing that you can create anything you want out of this offer that it holds potential um but then we have the four of cups which is is 
saying no to an offer, which is like fascinating. So let's get a little bit of clarity here. I think it might be a separate offer. Let's find out. What is the Four of Cups here for? Please be clear for it. Hanged Man energy. This is Pisces energy showing up in your own reading. Um, but this is a sacrifice oftentimes to gain perspective. So what is this Four of Cups? This is around work. What you're putting your time and effort into. Okay. Four of Cups. Why are we getting... This is big... Yeah, and we're getting the nine of wands again. So this is nine of wands, nine of wands here. So something about this, you know, even though you had this offer, this this um, work offer, I think you've given it up uh, because I think it's just exhausting. And I think that you might be actually holding back your energy for something better. It's like holding out for something better. It's gonna be creative potentially really kind of a passion project. I think it's something that you realize you've got a lot more creative flexibility with and you'd rather take that risk. Uh, Ace of Cups, where are we getting, let's make it a little bit, these guys. Ace of Cups, where are we getting Ace of Cups here in perspective, the strength card. It's almost like it's gonna give you the opportunity to step up in a way that you know you have the skills, you've got the, the tools for. Ace of Cups, Knight of Wands, now we have it again. This is great. So recognize that we have the Knight of Wands right here and right here. It came up here because your reaction to this shakeup was a quick recovery and you stood by your, your, stood your ground and your sense of what was right. And you got this, this burst of energy. The Knight of Wands is a very quick moving knight, ambitious, motivated, confident. And um, I think that to build that out a little bit, I'm going to go over here and show you that that Ace of Cups has something to do with this renewed energy. You're realizing you've got what it takes. It's worth withholding from this other offer because you just know that other offer is going to exhaust you. It's gonna put you in a defense, in a defensive energy. You, you're familiar with it. You don't want it. You'd rather take the risk with something new that you know you can have creative flexibility with. So Pisces, this looks really good. I would like to get one or two cards, just about this 10 of cups, please. Tell us about this 10 of cups at the end of the month here. We've got Knight of Cups, woo-hoo. Knight of Cups, tell us about this 10 of cups. We got Knight of Pentacles. We got all these knights coming out. Pisces, September 2021, where are we getting this 10 of cups? We've got the moon. This is Piscean energy. Okay. This might be something hidden as well. Where are we getting 10 of cups? Just flying out the chariot. I feel like you're almost having like, see, like secret admirers. <laughs> or like these other people that come out of the woodwork, we've got the page of cups again, so now. So I feel like these are people who come out of the woodwork that you didn't even realize were there, and they are somehow completing this picture of happiness for you. I think through their support. You've got the chariot energy, which is very fast moving forward, moving energy. So while it probably isn't a love situation, I think it's really contribute, contributing to your sense of well-being and happiness, and it's filling out the picture. You're realizing that people you didn't even, real, you didn't even see are coming out of the woodwork in support of you, okay? And um, they're gonna help you with this creative flexibility. They're gonna help you kind of make this offer, this dream come true, while not compromising on where you stand with your belief system, with your um, your sense of self-worth, and yada, yada. Anyway, Pisces, I'm excited for you. I think this is gonna be a really, pr um, you're gonna make a lot of progress this month. I think it's gonna be, um, kind of a game-changing month for you. I'm sending you love and uh, feel free to leave a comment in the box below. Uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.